Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 22 in this series and is entitled Polymorphism in Java. Polymorphism refers to the ability of an object to have many forms. Java supports this OOP concept through inheritance, method overloading, and method overriding. Using overriding, subclasses can define their own unique behaviors while still having the same behaviors of the parent class. Our previous lesson about interfacing is already an example of polymorphism as the interface's abstract methods were utilized in different forms by the two classes. In this lesson, we will discuss polymorphism using method overriding. In activity number 43, we will create a Java project called Polymorphism Sample that has a superclass called Saudi National that is extended by two subclasses, namely Saudi Student and Saudi Employee. Saudi National has one field national ID which will be inherited by Saudi Student and Saudi Employee. Saudi Student has a unique field called Student ID while Saudi Employee has a unique field called Employee ID. The sole method of Saudi National, which is display identification, will be overridden in Saudi student subclass and Saudi employee subclass. This is the polymorphic method, display identification. Our input will be the instantiation values. For the process, we're going to create actually four classes as shown in the process diagram or the three classes. The Saudi National is the parent class or the super class, while the Saudi student and the Saudi employee classes are the subclasses because they are extending the Saudi National super class. And the last class is uh, the one with the main method, the polymorphism sample class. Our output will be the identification of the three classes objects. We will call this project polymorphism sample. We will first create the Saudi National class by right-clicking the package, New, and Java class. We will call it Saudi National. This class has only one uh, field called the National ID and is of type string. Now we can create the constructor. The constructor, of course, is the name of the class. And we will have only one argument, which is the initial value for the national ID. Its definition is just to set the national ID to the value of the argument. Init national ID. Next, we were going to create the sole uh, method, which is the display identification. And all it does is to display the national ID. We'll just insert a backslash n to provide space. Next, the Saudi student extends the Saudi national class. It has an additional field uh, for the student ID. Now we'll create its constructor. Of course, the name is Saudi student, and it will have two arguments, the national ID from the parent class Saudi national, and the student ID. We'll now call the, the constructor of the super class using the super statement. And we will set the value of the student ID 
to the init student ID and we can also create or override the method display identification from the super class we will still put the statement to print the national ID but we will also put here the value of the student ID just put backslash and for space should be extends in its student ID sorry this should be in its student ID there you have it and the next one is the employee class the Saudi employee class which will also extend the Saudi national class I will just copy the content of Saudi student as it will be almost the same for the Saudi employee I will just replace all student with employee and all student with small s with employee with small e <sighs> class I think now we can go to the polymorphism sample so we can instantiate uh, all our classes. Let's start with the Saudi National. Let's call it Omar. Excuse me. It's equal to new Saudi National. And the ID. Let's make it NID 100. The next one, let's instantiate Saudi student. Let's call it Yusuf. SQL call to new Saudi student with two parameters and ID 200 for the national ID and the second one is for the student ID uh, we also have to instantiate the Saudi employee let's call it Majid SQL to new Saudi employee with also two parameters let's call it NID 300 for the national ID and SID 300 for the student ID now to show polymorphism we will call the polymorphic display identification method Omar has this method display identification Yusuf the instantiation of Saudi student also has this method and Majid the instantiation of Saudi employee also has this method so this is what we call polymorphism let's try to run it now excuse me sorry so there you have it the first display identification shows the national ID of the Saudi national the second display identification shows the national ID and the student ID for the Saudi student and the third display identification shows the national ID and employee ID for the Saudi employee well done we just finished demonstrating polymorphism in Java using method overriding thank you for taking the time to watch this video Masalama.